All right, Leo, let's see what's up with you and your person. Let's see if they're going to return. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Just saw the Six of Wands there. That's your card. All right, let's take a look at the past mutual energy between you and this person. Leo, what's the current mutual energy? What's on this person's mind when it comes to the energy? How do they view you, Leo? How do they feel about you and their emotions? How do they feel about reconciling? What are the hidden factors you need to know about the person and the situation? What's your advice from the tarot when dealing with this person? All right, and then what's the outcome for, <clears throat> if mom could talk, for a reconciliation? What kind of energy are they bringing your way through the month of July? This is for Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. And the person that you're thinking about, Leo. What's up, you guys? What the hell is up? All right, let's check it out and have a chat about it, Leo. Let's see what the hell's going on. All right, the past mutual energy. What do we have? We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. What's the current mutual energy? The Six of Wands in reverse. This is showing up again. This is you guys in Jupiter, Leo, Jupiter energy. All right, what's on this person's mind? The Devil, Sign of Capricorn. How do they view you? What are they thinking of you, Leo? Justice in reverse, sign of Libra. How are they feeling in their emotions? The fool, sign of Aries. How do they feel about reconciling, Leo? The empress in reverse, more Libra and Taurus energy. All right, what are the hidden factors you need to know? Temperance in reverse, sign of Sagittarius. What's your advice from the tarot? The five of swords. Take back your power. All right, what's the outcome for a reconciliation? is the knight of swords or how will they be moving towards you let's take a look at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of pentacles in reverse the queen of wands in reverse could very well be you and then we have the sun hi thanks for showing up leo major arcana all right you guys might be tired of waiting okay with the seven of pentacles in reverse earth energy this could certainly be you with the queen of wands in reverse she's angry she's hurt she's not taking action he or she okay there could have been some past shit that went on that well has put you in that queen of wands in reverse energy. She'll throw a plate at your head. She might even burn down your house. I'm just saying. Or the passion's gone and somebody's just not taking action because they're tired of waiting. They see this as a disappointment. All right. Past situation, Leah, we have the eight of wands in reverse. So a cut in communication. Something just did not manifest or move forward. Somebody may have blocked somebody in communication. There could be distance. But overall, just shitty communication or block. Current mutual energy with the Six of Wands in reverse. Again, that's your energy. Somebody's just feeling like this connection or relationship has failed or they have failed. There's a lack of victory or success here right now, which makes sense with this overall energy. All right. On their mind when it comes to this is the devil energy, Capricorn. Okay. They may feel that there are some toxicities within the relationship. The devil energy can be so many things. That's why we're going to clarify, Leo, because that devil energy could be obsessions, toxicities, addictions, you know, that kind of shit. Something toxic is on their mind. They could still ve feel very connected to you as well, tied and bound. Now, they view you right now as justice in reverse. For some of you, they feel like you did them wrong, Leo. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying this is the position of how they view you or what they think of you. Justice in reverse. Maybe that you're lacking some type of balance. Could be a divorce. I'm not really feeling that. I mean, it could be with the empress here, which could be wife, mother, shit. But how they're viewing you is just you're not, you're lacking balance. You're going through something also, too, that you may not want to reconcile or bring balance back to the situation. Again, some of them view you as doing them wrong. I'm just saying. Now, in their emotions, they have the full energy. So Aries, Major Arcana, starting again, zero, Major Arcana. It's a new path. I feel like this person, Leo, to be honest, is just on a new journey. They want to take a new path in life, in love. They want to take some type of risk. The fool is very young energy. It's kind of like Aries, right? I'm an Aries moon, so I can say it. We're kind of like eyes wide shut. We want to get out there and see the world, and we don't always think before we do it. But there's a fresh, young, new perspective on this path that they want to take. All right, because how they feel about a reconciliation is the empress in reverse. Some of you could be married to this person, Libra energy, Taurus. Some of you guys have Libra in your chart or dealing with a Libra. They feel like the energy is ill, like there's no expansion, that you guys can't get this thing off the ground. 
or move it forward for some reason. The Empress in reverse, again, it's kind of that ill energy. She's ruled by Venus. She's love. But when it's in reverse, there's a lack of that. There's a lack of a new beginning or forward movement here for some reason. Again, you may have kids with this person, but I'm just saying. Now, in the hidden factors, is temperance in reverse, son of Sagittarius. There's a lack of harmony here. People aren't cooperating. They're not on the same page. Temperance in reverse, a lack of reconciliation or a lack of the ability to heal something. People aren't cooperating. Somebody's emotions might be all out of whack. Now, your advice is the five of swords. There could have been some nasty communication, severance, pain. Five is always a challenging number, okay? So somebody may have tried to, you know, cut somebody up with words or, or just hurt somebody here. But also the five of swords is you're the third swordsman. You're picking up the sword. You're taking your power back. And it's also about change with the five. Now, will there be a reconciliation? The knight of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody may be rushing in to communicate. We'll have to see. And it's interesting because this uh, knight of swords is looking right at this five of swords, which they're both communication cards, okay? So we're going to see. I feel like this person doesn't feel expansion, but I also get a sense that this person has something to say. It's kind of like, on my way out, let me tell you this. You know what I mean? It's very aggressive, impulsive energy. So let's check it, Leo, and see what's up. So Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Will this person return? Will there be a reconciliation? What kind of energy is this person bringing towards Leo through the month of July? What is up, Leo? What's up? So for those who care, I see Capricorn. I see a lot of fire, which makes sense because you're a, well, fire sign. Aries, Libra, Sagittarius. All right, that's how I see predominantly Taurus. A little bit of Taurus here. Mostly Libra, Capricorn, and fire. All right, let's see what's up for Leo, please. And their person. So will there be a reconciliation? What can Leo expect from this person? Throughout the month of July, Leo, Sun, Moon, Horizon, Venus. What's up? All right, let's check it out. All right, let's check out the overall energy. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> that could very well be your energy, Leo, right, with that Queen of Wands in reverse. Not, ma not, you know, not happy about something or just not taking action. Okay, lost the passion, tired of waiting, feeling like this is just a big fat waste of time. Why is this queen of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse? What is it? The sun. I love that you guys are all up in my energy. I do. I love it. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. There you are. Yeah, you're having clarity, okay, with the sun energy there. The sun is happiness. It is the most positive card in the deck, but it also brings illumination. What's it bringing illumination to, Leo? Well, you, the sun, the queen of wands in reverse. You guys are just tired of waiting on something here. You, you might be angry or you've just lost the passion. The past, we have the eight of wands in reverse. There goes your energy. What's this eight of wands in reverse? The three of wands. You guys just cut communication, blocked communication. There was just no forward movement or manifestation, a lack of change. And with the three of wands here, somebody just Decided to, well, get their ships somewhere else, okay, with the three of wands. Start manifesting in a new direction. That can even be like networking online, whatever. Waiting for their ships to come in, okay? So they had to cut something else out or communication. Something just wasn't changing. Now, the current energy is the six of wands in reverse. Leo and Jupiter energy. Why is this here, please? Six of wands in reverse. The seven of wands. You know, again, the, the mutual current energy there is a lack of victory or success. You guys both feel like this has failed in some way. With the seven of wands, this is having your guard up, right? It's fighting your cause. It's like taking a new path, standing firm on what you believe in, but somebody's walls are up with that seven of wands. Now, on this person's mind is the devil, a sign of Capricorn. What's the devil about? The full energy, sign of Aries. Let's clarify that one more time. Why the fool? Why is the fool here? They've got it twice in their energy. Why is this fool energy here? Why is it? The Ten of Cups. Okay. This person wants to get their happiness back. I feel that they do feel that there was some toxic energy between you guys. Maybe they were very tied and bound to this at one point. Or, there again, there was just some unhealthy boundaries here. And with the fool energy, I think they're ready just to take a new venture here. They want to get their happiness back with that Ten of Cups. All right. 
They see you as justice in reverse. Why is justice in reverse? That could be why that devil energy is on their mind. For some reason, reason they're viewing you as, um, you know, bringing a lack of balance for some reason. Or maybe they feel that you did them wrong. I'm just saying. Why is justice here? Yeah, the eight of swords in reverse. They feel like you've cut ties with them and that you're just releasing from them. You know, again, it could be a divorce for some of you guys. Um, again, Libra and energy, a lot of Libra and energy there, but they do feel like you guys are just, you're letting go of it. You're no longer tied and bound to this. Now, in their emotions, they have the fool, sign of Aries, why is the fool energy here in this person's emotions? What is it? The queen of coin, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Some of them might be involved with this queen of coins, okay? Maybe it's a new relationship that they've gotten into with that full energy. Let's clarify it one more time. For others of you, this person's just concentrating on work, getting their self-worth back. What's this queen of coins? The five of swords in reverse. Let's check that out. Why is this five of swords in reverse? Why is this five of swords in reverse? What is this? The five of coin in reverse. All right. For some of you, this person has taken a new leap of faith here with somebody else. Okay. Because you guys are not that queen of coin. Could be your energy, Leo, but I'm not feeling it. Because how they feel about a reconciliation with you is they feel that there's a lack of growth or forward movement. That the energy is just not expanding. This, I mean, we're in Mercury retrograde. For some of you, this person went back to somebody that they were already dealing with. There's a lot of return energy. But I just feel like that's external to you with that full energy. Because how they're viewing a reconciliation is the Empress in reverse. Why is this here? Why does this person view a reconciliation with Leo as the Empress in reverse? This can also be a court card. It could be like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress in reverse. This could be like the mother of their children or something like that. I gotta say it. Why is this Empress in reverse? Why is this here? Why is it here? And why is it now? And we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? They feel like reconciling with you, there's just this lack of growth or lack of nurturance here. Because with the Six of Coins, again, they're trying to find balance in their life. They know that you're trying to do the same. But also, they could be giving their time, their energy to this Empress energy. What's the Six of Coins about? Yeah, see? I fucking said it. The Six of Cups, you guys. This person is dealing with somebody from their past. It could just be the mother of their children, but I'm telling y'all that Six of Cups is um, family, children, the past, something to do with that. We've got two sixes here. Six plus six is 12. Broken down, one plus two is three. So there's like this third energy here, you guys, that they're dealing with. I'm just saying... That's why the hidden factors is temperance in reverse. There's a lack of compromise or balance here, okay? There's a lack of a reconciliation, I think, you guys. Temperance in reverse, the seven of cups in reverse. Somebody sees the reality of it, too, here. Could be you, Leo, you know? Maybe you guys already know this. But the seven of cups in reverse, this, somebody's not living in any type of illusion here. All right, why the seven of cups in reverse? Why is this here? And we have the six of wands in reverse. Again, more of your energy, Six of Wands in reverse. Again, ego. A little bit of ego here, I'm feeling. But also, too, with that uh, Six of Wands in reverse, there's just a lack of success here. And I think that you, them, maybe both of you, really see the reality of the situation. Your advice is this Five of Swords. Why is this here? Why is the Five of Swords here? We have the world in reverse. Again, there's like this return. We're in a retrograde. I feel it's external to you, though, Leo. Because your advice is the Five of Swords. Somebody may not have been telling you everything. The Five of Swords can be stepping out on somebody too. It's it's kind of that energy of causing some pain, but you don't really care. You're kind of just thinking of yourself. All right? Some of you, this has already happened. Um, five of Swords, the world in reverse returning to something. Something that hasn't been completed. Why is this world in here? And this is your advice to know this. What's this world in reverse? The Eight of Wands. See, there's some communication going on here with this person and somebody that they're dealing with, okay? And your advice is to stand in your power with that and to know that this is going on behind the scenes. Now, the outcome for a reconciliation or their energy towards you is this Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, what is this? What's this Knight of Swords energy? We have the Devil in Reverse. Okay, so also, too, I feel like with this Knight of Swords, this is very fast, quick energy. It's moving forward. And again, it's looking right at this kind of manipulative, cutting, hurting energy. He's looking right at it. And with the devil in reverse, it's releasing that. 
okay more capricorn energy it's releasing it's not feeling so tied and bound to a situation it's not feeling as stuck as you once were to a person or a situation these nights are always coming and going and i feel like this outcome is this person probably just heading out could be to reconcile and fix something too with like a past connection with that devil in reverse fix the toxicities what's this devil in reverse towards leo what is it the seven of coins see there's an investment here that seven of coins seven of coins for me always has like past energy tied to it too somebody's doing some reflecting they're waiting and they're kind of looking back at a past situation what is seven of coins what is this yeah and then we have the eight of coin in reverse so there's just like no effort put in this person is tied to somebody from their past again it could be the mother of children somebody that they had a, a past um situation with and i feel like this person is rushing in to that and again it's looking right at this five of swords energy like they don't give a shit it's very impulsive energy and it's rushing zooming out again and they're kind of releasing the tie to you. We've got the devil here twice. So they know that there was a connection here that was toxic. I mean, that devil can...